Hello, everyone. I'm Andrew Liu, Vice President of Capital Markets here at CFI. And on behalf of CFI, I'd like to welcome you to our Introduction to FinTech course. There's been a lot of excitement surrounding financial technology, or FinTech for short. But a lot of you are probably wondering what FinTech is and why is it important? Well, in this course and others in our FinTech industry specialization, we aim to help you thoroughly understand this field and the impact of FinTech disruption on the traditional financial services industry. In this course, we'll start by explaining the various categories of companies that operate in the FinTech space and how these companies have evolved over time. We'll also examine how companies in traditional legacy finance have responded, as well as how regulators and governments are thinking about this industry. Lastly, we'll examine how financial technology may advance even further in the future. So let's get started. After taking this course, you'll be able to define what fintech is, as well as its importance. You'll be able to explain the history and evolution of fintech. You'll be able to identify the main areas of fintech, as well as how they differ from traditional finance. You'll be able to identify key players in the fintech industry, as well as interpret fintech regulations and compliance. Lastly, you'll be able to explain the future of fintech and the advancement of new and current technologies. In this first module, we'll look at what fintech actually is, why it's important, as well as the history and evolution of the space. Fintech, which is short for financial technology, is a catch-all term used to describe the use of technology to improve and transform the delivery of traditional financial services. It encompasses a wide range of products and services, from simple things like mobile banking and digital payments, to even more complex processes like investment management and insurance. However, the main idea behind all fintech is using technology to disrupt the financial services industry by making these services faster, more convenient, and more accessible for everyone. For example, fintech can allow people to manage their money using just their smartphone, making it easier to pay bills, save money, and keep track of their spending. Fintech is changing the way financial services are provided, making them more efficient and cost-effective, and helping to bring financial services to people who were previously underserved by traditional financial institutions. Just as ride-hailing revolutionized the transportation industry, fintech is revolutionizing the financial services industry by making it more accessible, convenient, and user-friendly. Fintech is an important area of innovation because it has the potential to significantly impact the financial services industry and improve the lives of consumers, as well as helping businesses. Here are some of the key reasons why fintech is important. Number one is increased access to financial services. Fintech provides increased access to financial services for both individuals and businesses, particularly for those who are traditionally underserved by financial institutions. This may include people who live in remote areas, maybe have lower incomes, or have poor credit histories. As a matter of fact, the World Bank reported that 1.4 billion people around the world are underbanked in their Global Findex 2021 survey. Secondly is an improved customer experience. Fintech companies are able to leverage technology to offer a more seamless and convenient customer experience. This includes faster account opening processes, easier bill payments, and more personalized finance advice. Lastly, fintech companies are providing increased competition because they disrupt the traditional financial services industry. By offering new and innovative products and services, this increased competition leads to better pricing, more choice, and higher quality services for consumers and businesses. 
The history of fintech can be traced back to the late 1990s and early 2000s, when the internet and mobile technologies began to transform the financial services industry. During this period, a number of early fintech companies emerged, offering innovative solutions for payments, lending, and investing. For example, e-commerce and online payments. The rise of e-commerce in the late 1990s and early 2000s created a need for secure and efficient online payment systems. Companies such as PayPal and Skrill emerged to offer online payment solutions, allowing consumers to make secure payments over the internet. We also saw peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms such as Zappa and Prosper emerge in the mid-2000s, offering a new way for consumers to access loans, bypassing traditional banks and financial institutions. P2P, an abbreviation for peer-to-peer, -peer, lending platforms use technology to match borrowers with lenders and to automate the lending process. The rise of mobile technology in the 2000s created new opportunities for banks to offer mobile banking services, allowing customers to manage their finances from their mobile devices. Other companies such as M-Pesa in Kenya and Bcash in Bangladesh were among the first to launch mobile banking services in developing countries. We also saw robo-advisory platforms emerge in the mid-2000s, offering automated investment advice and portfolio management services. Companies such as Betterment and Wealthfront were among the earlier pioneers of the robo-advisory movement, using algorithms and artificial intelligence to provide investment advice to customers. These early fintech companies paved the way for the growth and development of the fintech industry and set the stage for the next wave of innovation in the 2010s and beyond. As technology continued to evolve and the fintech industry matured, fintech companies began to challenge traditional financial institutions and to disrupt the financial services industry in new and innovative ways. The 2010s marked a period of rapid growth and evolution for the fintech industry. As technology continued to advance, new fintech companies emerged offering a range of innovative products and services that disrupted traditional financial institutions and transformed the financial services landscape. Some of the key developments in the history of fintech in the 2010s include digital wallets and mobile payments. The widespread adoption of smartphones and mobile technologies created new opportunities for fintech companies to offer digital wallet and mobile payment solutions. Companies such as Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and Google Wallet emerged to offer secure and convenient mobile payment options. Crowdfunding platforms such as Kickstarter and Indiegogo emerged in the 2010s, offering a new way for entrepreneurs and small businesses to raise capital and bring their ideas to market. Crowdfunding platforms use technology to connect investors with startups, as well as to automate the investment process. The rise of digital currencies or cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum in the late 2010s, created new opportunities for fintech companies to offer decentralized, secure, and transparent methods of moving value across the internet between trustless parties. The blockchain technology that underpins cryptocurrencies enabled the creation of new financial products and services as well as facilitated cross-border transactions and remittances. InsurTech companies emerged in the 2010s as well, offering innovative insurance products and services that disrupted the traditional insurance industry. Companies such as Lemonade and Metromile use technology to automate the insurance process, thereby reducing costs as well as offering new innovative, and more faster insurance to consumers. All this also led to open banking initiatives, requiring banks to open up their consumer data to fintech companies and other third parties. This initiative allowed new opportunities for fintech companies to offer new and innovative financial products and services, 
as well as better serving the needs of consumers and small businesses everywhere. The 2020s have continued the rapid pace of innovation and evolution in the fintech industry, with new and emerging technologies driving further disruption. The COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated the adoption of digital financial services as physical banking became less accessible and people increasingly relied on mobile banking and online transactions. Some of the key developments in the history of fintech in the 2020s include Neobanks, also known as digital banks, have emerged in the 2020s to offer a range of financial services through mobile and online platforms only. Neobanks aim to provide consumers with a more convenient, accessible, and sometimes affordable alternative to traditional banks. Companies such as N26, Monzo, and Revolut are among the leading neobanks. We've also seen the continued advancement of artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies. This technology has enabled fintech companies to develop new and innovative products and services. For example, AI-powered financial advisors can provide investment advice and portfolio management, while machine learning algorithms can detect and prevent financial fraud. And on the topic of fraud prevention, we've seen digital identity and biometric technologies emerging as key trends in the 2020s. Companies such as Onfido and Jumio use biometric technologies such as facial recognition and fingerprint scanning to verify customers' identities and to prevent financial fraud. And as many of you know, cryptocurrencies and digital assets as well as the blockchain technology that underpins them has continued to grow in the 2020s, creating a new ecosystem called Decentralized Finance, or DeFi for short. Some of the advancements in DeFi space include decentralized exchanges, lending and borrowing platforms, and yield farming platforms. Now, these are just a few examples of the major developments and milestones in the history and evolution of fintech. But what's most fascinating is this field continues to evolve rapidly, with new technologies and innovations emerging all the time. 